when you meditate, you're changing the world around you as well. It's not just your mind. Of course, what this means is you change in two ways. One is your perception of the world, what's important, what's not important. And then also based on the fact that your mind is in better shape than the other things you do as you engage with the world. And hopefully you, you take the lessons you learn from your meditation and you apply them to what you're doing in the world around you. In other words, you want to be more mindful, more alert, more sensitive to your own actions. But first you have to have a sense of what's important and what's not, because otherwise the world is going to push its sense of important and not important on you. And it's so easy to give in. You talk to a few people and everybody seems to be reading the same news and wanting to talk about the same thing. But so often the news has nothing to do with you, at least nothing to do with your well-being. And a lot of it is just getting people riled up for one reason or another, asking you to take sides. You say, take sides for what? Take sides for whose, whose contest? Your contest is your contest with your own defilements. If you want to find a good victory in this world, well, try to gain victory over your own greed, aversion, and delusion. That kind of victory, the Buddha said, creates no karma. And it's a victory that can't be taken away from you. Other victories in the world, you win something and then someone else will say, well, I want to get that too. Then you have to fight them off, and sometimes you win again and sometimes you lose. But you create a lot of karma. Once you lay claim to your mind and say, okay, I want my mind to be free of greed, aversion, and delusion, no one else is going to come in and dispute that claim. They may yell at you from the outside to take up, up their opinions on things, but nobody can actually move into your mind unless you let them in. So be very careful about who you let into your mind. Remember, you want to look after your own well-being. Because as far as the world is concerned, they're concerned for, about you only as far as you're a useful member of society. And then you die, and then they're going to find somebody else to take your place. And that, what happens to you after that, they don't care. Whereas you have to care. You have to take that responsibility. So make sure you go into the world with a strong sense of what's really important for you in terms of gaining victory over your defilements. And as for other contests in the world, just let them be. No matter how much people may yell at you, no matter how much the effects of this context, the contest may impinge on you, you've got to make sure that you're focusing on your number one contest right inside. And do what you can to keep your priorities straight. And that way your good influence will have to spread into the world. Think about the Johns in Thailand. They were mostly sons of peasants, and in the large scheme of things in the social system over there, the sons of peasants didn't have much of a chance. Yet they were able to make a big difference in Thai society. So even though you are holding on to your sense of what's really important in life may not seem all that influential around you, you never know. But again, the, the extent to which you influence things outside you is not the real issue. That you've got to influence your mind in the right direction. Don't let the influencers from outside come and take your place. <laughs>